Hey guys, welcome to my video training all about resizing videos for IGTV. Now, I recently did this with one of my videos, so I'm going to walk you through that process again in this video training. Um, I will share my screen in a moment and show you exactly what I'm doing, but a few things first. Number one, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Andrea Jones, and I'm all about helping you build profitable communities online through simple and fun social media solutions. And then in videos like this one, I like to show you exactly how to speed things along with some cool tools. Today we're using a tool called Copwing. I'll put the link in the description below. And it's a really cool kind of shortcut to video editing. If you don't have something like Adobe Premiere or iMovie, this is really, really easy to kind of get uh, videos edited fairly quickly. Now I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you this is a video that I am working with. So uh, I turned the sound off here, but this is a video that I created for the Savvy Social School. It's a little bit of a promo video about the school and I want to post it to IGTV. And so I want to show you the after. So this is what it looks like after. So you can see that it's the right size for IGTV. So I'm going to walk you through how I did this video specifically. Now, when you go to Copwing, um, when you log in right away, you will see their um, options here. They have a few different products and it's really to help you again speed along the process of editing videos. So they've got a meme generator, um, they have a subtitle option, resize which is what we're going to use. Um, you can loop videos to have more of like a GIF effect. Um, you can all, all these different things, convert them, trim the audio, that sort of thing. So we're going to click on resize video and I'm going to go ahead and upload a video. And I'm actually going to um, use, actually, I'm just going to use this video here that I already have. It's actually a review I just did on this mic here. All right, so I've got this video uploaded. And on the left hand side here, you can see the different options. So Instagram to make it a square, which I believe it's on right now. Um, IGTV or um, Instagram stories. You can even do this for um, platforms like TikTok, um, YouTube, Facebook portrait, landscape, so on and so forth. So what I want to do is take this video and create it for IGTV. Now, you can leave it like this if you'd like, um, but this isn't quite as optimized as I want it to be. So I want it to actually um, zoom in to be just my face here. So I'm going to click the crop option. And as with this option, you can also position it and move things left and right like this. So I am moving it over a little bit so you can get my face centered there. And you can also zoom in and out. And I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit and it adds some black bars. You can actually change them to white if you'd like. Um, so this is the optimal size for IGTV videos. So once you've done that, you can hit create. Um, oh, this content is still uploading, so I'll give it a minute to upload and then we'll click create and we'll go from there. Once you click create, the video will then be processed. This does take a little bit of time and you don't want to exit out of the screen as this is happening. This is where the magic happens. So just leave it on this screen until this process is complete. All right, so our video here has done, uh, finished encoding. And so you could leave it like this and just publish it to IGTV. But one final step you may wanna consider is if you click to open this video in the studio, you can actually add some other elements. So one of the things that I like to do is you can add in some text, add in an image, add in some audio, all sorts of um, options here for editing it. You can um, finish adjusting the size if you'd like or anything else that you want to add to this video. Um, so you have a lot more, um, way more editing options when it comes to looking um, in the studio. So let me actually um, do an example here. And let's say I wanted this to say new video. Um, and you can actually animate this text a little bit so you can have it come in like that. And I'm going to go ahead and click play so you guys can see how this looks. 
So that's how the text would look animated on this video. So you could add in different elements like, um, you know, subscribe on YouTube or um, maybe some some um, action points in the video itself. You have a lot of options here for editing that video. All right, so that's Copwing. Tell me, before we wrap up for today's video, I'd love to know, have you used this tool before? If you have, what do you think? Drop a comment below. I mean, if you haven't, do you plan on using it? Because I find it uh, quite an easy way to edit a uh, video. I like it myself and use it for my clients. Um, and that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.